Krufel nurse. I'm going to show you some more of my crew philosophy on explosive attacks. Um, you may have seen George St. Pierre use these techniques, some of it, which I showed him a long time ago at the beginning of his career, and it became his punch. Everyone knows George for the, the left Superman punch. And I showed him this way back at the beginning, and I remember telling him at the time, make this yours. And he did that. So let me show you what he does. So it's explosive because the person can be a long way away. They're not so close anymore, and they don't expect you to get there so fast. So he's going to hold his hand just like this. Imagine that's the face, and I'm here. Now what I do is I'll kick this leg back in here. So it's this, boom, and in. And that's how you explode in. It's not, it's, it's kicking, most people do with the right leg, and they feel okay with that. But when you do it the left, you kind of sit, and then when you kick this leg, you start to fall. And when you start to fall is when you push off your right leg and then you extend this. And that's what's giving that, that Superman thing where you can travel a very long distance really, really fast. And what stands you up again is when you hit. So your accuracy has to be on too, because if you miss, you probably end up falling all the way down. But when you hit the target, that puts you straight back up again. So when I hit, boom, that's keeping me up, which I would end in with a low kick or an elbow or a knee, whatever I want to do. But the first one we're doing is just stand in the same side, kick the leg back, the left hand, boom, and that's there. So that would be the first one I would use. The progression of that, if the person starts to read that, which is what exactly George said to me when I showed him this one, said, what if the person reads what we're going to do? Um, and I think the next fight after we did this, we did it first with Matt Hughes. The next fight after that was Koscheck, and Koscheck at the time was, used to move a lot and then we turned it into a leg kick. So we did the same thing, imagine the person moves, so they move out of the way when you do it, so come back again. So I throw the punch and he moves, right? But then you chase him with the kick. The kick's gonna be longer than your, than your jab. So when I do this part and he moves back all the way, I can't really reach, because he's moved back. So now this will catch him um, when you go on the leg. You can do it the one, two, the same thing. About, comes the two. You do it one, two, three, jab cross, then the leg kick. So here, boom, and then you can leg. And then the last one. So yeah, so there's a few, there's a numerous ways you can build onto this. This is how I like to teach. I like to teach, um, always build, you know, always set the trap, then you implement what you're trying to do. Right now we've got one, two, we've got one. We've got the person moves, then you catch with the leg, and you've got one, two, bump, bump. You've got the one, two with the leg kick, bump, bump, bump. And then there's two more, a bit more advanced again. So the next one is just footwork. So he moves from the first one, I don't do it. I change an angle, so now I'm at an angle. I put an angle again, boom, and then hit. So it would look like this, if he just stays there, I'm going, boom, right hand. So it starts off being a Superman punch. It starts off being a Superman punch, he moves, I change angle, change angle, and hit. None of those changing angles I can hit too if I wanted to. I don't have to not. If he holds his hands up like this, I'll go one, two, three. That'll be more than one punch. And he'll come through with everything. So going back to the beginning, the first one, my guy, I kick this leg back, hit with the hand. That's just that. I can cover a lot of distance. I can be this far away, but I'm really too far. It looks that way. From here, I'll jump, and I'll hit. Then I'll go with one, two. Here, ta, ta. And I'll go one, two, three. Ta, ta. Ta. So that was what I was saying. I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then I was making the angle. So I went switch. Ta, ta, ta. And then all of those, what I like to do sometimes after I've done all of that and I've got the kind of seed planted as it were, I like to throw in a spinning elbow. So I can do it from the beginning, I can do it into the end. So this will be at the beginning where I do the punch, look for the kick, hit, boom, and switch into elbow. Same thing I can do on the one, two, the same thing, elbow. And I can do the same thing with the feint. And I go here, here, boom. And I can go both sides. The same thing, that. And bring it back. So both sides I can come with that. 
Thank you for watching. Follow us on Instagram. Um, that's my crew philosophy.